Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is PJ's Thriving and I am all about self-empowerment, learning and growing in the right direction. This week I am working on face makeup. I am going to do this half of my face with regular foundation and this half I actually have your airbrush that I have and I am going to start learning how to play with it and put it on. What I have noticed in the last few weeks that I have been trying to put makeup on is that in the camera it looks blended and okay but when I go and look in other mirrors what I'm seeing is it just looks like it's full of pores and it's just to me it just I can see every wrinkle and it looks more wrinkled like the way I'm putting the foundation on and because of how bad my skin has been looks awful to me and of course I am my own self-critic and heard somewhere that try using airbrush for making it I guess look like a smoother look so that's what I'm trying I'm still learning and still trying <laughs> my hair's sticking straight up that's all right still trying new things and I'll find something that works with me eventually but until then I'm just going to try a little bit of everything so at this point I'm going to I have already washed my skin I put this new serum and moisturizer anti-wrinkle stuff on that uh, I am starting to do I'm going to do a one-week trial on it because it claims one week uh, results so I have already done all of that prepped my face I have put conceal done my eyebrows and done concealer in the tea part I have my face is prepped ready to go I am going to jump right in and start with my foundation as I've gotten older whereas I never used to wear face makeup before now that I have gotten older age spots wrinkles I have gained a bunch of weight and now I'm starting to lose I've just noticed all kind of things about my face and I'm really worried about wrinkles and all these dark spots and age spots. So I am trying different things to learn how to apply makeup and cover up some of the flaws and just look a little younger and a little not so <laughs> old. We are going to start, instead of me rubbing and patting on, or you know, just feel like I'm raking my skin, I am just going to pat this in Go right to the middle keep that other side open for the airbrush don't know how well that's going to work I've had it for a little what I just haven't played with it yet I figured I needed to start with the actual foundation on my skin so I can figure out what I'm doing I put that this new moisturizer on today and if you watched another video on the moisturizer, you'll see that it is, this is day one of the seven day trial. I'm gonna do a before and after and see if it lives up to what it claims it does. I try to use colors that really are very similar to my face and my neck so I don't have to be having that line spot going up there. All right, that's really it. I don't do a whole lot for foundation. Once I do the concealer, the primer, the concealer, I think the dip, the colors, the dark spots and the age spots and the discolorations and the different parts of my face, it's pretty even. So that is that one. Now, this air of art, I tried it a, a minute ago on this little piece of paper and saw how that goes. It says you're not supposed to be able to have to put very much in. So I am going to, it says three or four drops. So we're gonna try it. One, two, three, four. All right. Turn it on, do a little test spray on the paper. 
start on the face. And this seems to be the closest, well, in the bottle anyway, the closest colors together. Says I might have to play with the foundation to learn how to match it. We're really gonna see today if it doesn't match. So let me turn this on. Spray a little bit. Now spraying it on the, the paper, it kind of looks uneven. Not so much uneven, but like spotty. Like little spots. And that thing is just bouncing around everywhere. All right, so now we are going to, it says go in circles. I can feel the air on it, so here we go. This feels like I'm blowing air on my face. Oh, there's still a bunch in there. I feel like there's more on this side than there's on this side. So we're going to, since there's so much still in there, we're going to try it again. Maybe I need to go a little slower. Definitely does not feel like the other side of my face. coming out a whole lot. You can tell the difference. You can feel the, the foundation on this side. You really can't feel anything. I don't know if it's just the light, just me, but I guess when I do like this, I can feel like I've really, really sprayed in here. Wow. Either nothing came up. Well, I guess so. I guess I can feel, I feel like I'm a little shaded here. anybody ever use those can sprays you know at drug stores and Walmart and stuff you can buy it says it's an airbrush color can and it comes with a brush or like a padding brush anybody ever use those I saw them but I don't know how well it works I don't know how well this one works so if you've used them comment below let me know if they are any good I'm gonna say this side's a little more shinier than this side, but there's still some in there. And you can see where it has went down. 
So I had I did use just not very much. Well, if that's all I gotta do. It doesn't feel as caked on as the other side. Like this side, it's really soft. Not on any of my fingers. This side I can feel like there's foundation there. Let's see if I have a little mirror. Looking. The skin tone looks like it's covered. It's not as shiny as this side is. Looking at on a little mirror up close, and yes, I do have makeup on. Am I sure? <laughs> wow. I think the end result, I kind of like it. Why did spill? All right. So, I don't know how, how close I can get or how. Looking at like in here, you can really see how that just looks like the foundation is kind of wrinkled and caked in. Do you see that? It's really just this side. It's still there, but nowhere. It's not as noticeable. Like this side looks like it's a little bit smoother. This side looks like it's more caked in like I need to blot that in a little more it's my little fur baby waking up she was in the chair take next to me taking a nap see like there's just if I try to blot that or pat that out it just feels like between the concealer and that foundation and do you see what I'm talking about it looks it just like is really wrinkled in there so I don't know what the trick is to fix that it's still on this side but not nowhere near as noticeable as right here I think it just feels heavier even on the eyelid because I put it up there too it the foundation actually feels like it's heavier on this side once you put that airbrush on it's like I can feel this side now with the regular foundation and I don't on this side. Now I like that. Hmm. So I guess now the truth will be, and because it's shinier, it looks like there's more notice to this fat <laughs> skin that's there. What are you digging on me for, baby? Hmm. I guess I'll find out. It'll be a couple hours. Let it wear on and it'll be a couple hours. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. My lips look like they're really, what are you doing? What? What do you want? <laughs> Somebody's up, ready to go. I found this the other day too and I love it. So I said, put it on. Now let it dry about a minute. And then you put the gloss over it, but the color actually stays. I am going to finish some more makeup and then come back. I need to let her out and we'll go from there. Okay, I am back. I also put some eye makeup on. And really the only thing I have left now is a little bit of blush. But I'm kind of liking this better than this. It just feels a whole lot lighter. I like that not cakey feeling. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to do some kind of loose powder or that spray that you put on the sheer setting spray. I don't know if you're supposed to do that with uh, the airbrush. And I also just wanted to mention that I gave you guys the name. 
of the airbrush and I just wanted to make sure that you all were aware that it was just something that I bought I had on my own um, I am not sponsored by anybody don't get paid for nothing so hmm y'all leave me a comment what do you think I think I like it All right, I guess that is the finished course. You know, at the end of my video, as I always put it before and after. So that is what I'm gonna do before, middle, and then after. So, but just how it feels, just even touching my face, I can tell. And I didn't put a lot on on either on this side, but to me, it just. What do you want? Um, this is Bella. Uh, it just doesn't feel like I have the foundation, the liquid foundation on there. And that is liquid foundation that was airbrushed. So give me a thumbs up, like my video, please. <laughs> uh, subscribe and follow my journey along learning how to do these makeups and the different things that I'm doing. If you have any tips, tricks, or you have videos that I could go watch to give me some more ideas, please leave a comment below. I will definitely do that. Give me a little support here and I'll support you back too. Thanks y'all. And this is it for, this is the, the look I'm going to go for today. And I will play with the airbrush a little bit more. It may be first try so I will try keep trying and if things turn out the way they have right so far I may be switching because for anybody that knows if you have not wore face makeup when you start wearing it it feels like you just caked all this stuff on your face and this side feels like that and this side doesn't so I'm giving the airbrush so far first try a thumbs up thanks have a good week stay safe people